What's okay, we are at the Hoto, Hoto Caves. Cave. But the tour doesn't start for another 45 minutes. So we're taking a little detour down this trail beside it called the Indian Trail. It's pretty nice, it has little numbers and, and you get like a little guide that tells you uh, what tree is what tree. What tree is what tree and what <laughs> cactus is what cactus. But it's pretty cool. We got kind of a little taste for what the caves are going to be like because it's all that um, fossilized limestone from reefs back in the day. But now we're walking back because the tour is going to start soon and we're going to go explore a bit different of a cave than the ones we explored in Bonaire. <laughs> this one's definitely it's a little dry. more... It's a dry cave this time. It's dry. We can keep our clothes on. There's no snorkels. There's lights and it paths. It's a tour. Yeah, and we, it's officially we have to have a tour guide. So. Mm -hmm. It'll be a little different, but it should be pretty cool. It's going to be pretty big. Um, pretty excited. Yeah. Why? Why commercial keys? Because you see the lights, we pull the pads, and, and, sometimes they are very woof. Wow! Hot! That's why you're gonna see a lot of ventilators. I got a, I got a, a ghost! Pac-Man! Halloween! And behind, the giant frog! Uh, ladies and gentlemen, do you believe in the Madonna, Virgin Mary? Are you excited to leave? But it's, uh, see you later. That's right. Totally. Yeah. Maybe three more months and she's back out to play. Exactly. Maybe to actually sail with us. We'll yeah, see you. Oh, you, you actually <laughs> haven't been sailing, have you? It's always great to meet new travel friends and hard to say goodbye. As we were all sad to see Eve go, we were about to welcome a new visitor. So while we're here waiting in Curacao, my mom is coming for a visit and she's bringing a giant suitcase full of stuff that we've been sending to her house for the last six or seven months maybe. So we're pretty excited about that. <laughs> what is this? So we're having burgers today and this is officially the best burger place I've ever seen. You make your own burger and you have a little marker and you pick what you want. It's like the SATs. It's like, yeah, it's like an exam for burgers. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm just gonna like have a $43 hamburger. <laughs> That's where they trick you. Right? Wait, wait, let me get the calculator. Let me, I was like, mm, no, nope. take the onions off. I can't afford the onions. Uh, mozzarella. The school teacher corrected like, really No. Ah, oh, the burger is okay. Woohoo! It's like taller than my face. Oh, this is a good angle. That makes it look so big. It is big. It has two toothpicks. It's so big. That is insane. That's a meatball. That's not a burger patty. That's a meatball. Right now. Oh my god, that's good. The world needs more Canada. Yep. It's true. The world does need more Canada. This is everything that we have been ordering for how many, six months? Yep. And she was going to mail it down to us, but instead it turned out to be cheaper to fly her down than it was to oh, mail it down. That's a... So, <laughs> all right, what do we got here? Oh my gosh. Your stuff's We've safe. got the programmer for the motor controller. We've got new Navionics card for a chart plotter. We've got two of these awesomely fantastic inflatable life jackets. These are like badass offshore hood 
rated life jackets. Which is a gift from your daddy. Which is a gift from my dad. We're gonna have to do a demonstration on those at some point. Oh, that must be the motor it's controller. It's really heavy. Whew. This is our new motor controller because we went direct drive and this is one that's actually designed for our electric motor. The one that we have is not designed for our electric motor and we've been kind of making do for the last two years. We've got a new hard drive because Kika can't delete any footage ever, which I don't blame her. It's all good. So if you guys know Matt and Jessica from MJ Sailing, they sent us some stickers that we're going to uh, plaster on some stuff too. That's cool. Oh, and these are UMA stickers. Boom. UMA stickers. Those are nice. Field guide to wilderness medicine and rescue. So basically like Nobody. when help's not coming, Nobody's here's how to coming. deal with it yourself. Nervous and spine system, common medical problems, high altitude, high altitude, like <laughs> up, up the, the mast. mast. <laughs> These are two things never go anywhere without. Right. I've got a fire maker. How do you Is call it? Firestone? Flint and steel. Flint and steel. Flint and steel. Flint and steel, I guess. And then I oh have my, my own little knife now. Oh my gosh, that is such a cute little knife. Hold it up. Oh, that's nice. I've always wanted my own knife. It's like the highest honor for Kevin to give someone a knife. Really? Yeah, yes. Pretty much. Oh, down. Oh, 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 perfect. Kevin gives you a knife and you're part of the family. Oh, this Trusted is so and Today we're going to the ostrich farm because Bonaire has donkeys and flamingos, Curacao has flamingos and ostriches. So we're going to go to the ostrich farm with Din's mom and Mike. And so I'm going to welcome him with a Kika song. A Kika ba ballad. He's taking his time, so I'm going to write a song about him taking it too long. His dinghy, because if it's empty, Mike's it won't float. Mike's dinghy <laughs> is very empty, and he doesn't have a goat. goat. <laughs> oh, my gone in a hurry the up. <laughs> but Mike is he's pumping his dinghy up. This, this is not a very good song, but I am trying my best. And sis is the only song, and I don't know the rest. <laughs> ba -da 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 -da. Right out of my mouth. It's like taking candy from a baby, huh? <laughs> what are we doing? Uh, we are at the ostrich farm. We're gonna check out some ostriches, but before that, I'm going to ride an ostrich because that's a thing that you can do here. You can ride an ostrich, yeah. and I'm the only one who has the appropriate weight to be able to <laughs> get on the ostrich. Because so, they're small. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. Oh yeah, there you go. She's right an ostrich. Ta-da! It's a cute ostrich. <laughs> That's funny that they made you sign the disclaimer. Alright. Oh! 
Oh my gosh, look at you. Look at him run! That is the most insane thing I've ever seen. I think I got the look on her face when he first took off, which was priceless. Good. Coming from a girl who's scared to ride a horse, you're doing pretty good. That's so cool. Like his back is up my butt. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, <is it> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for your service, buddy. <laughs> How was it? I have like the major wedgie. <laughs> <laughs> They're so like the elegant. They really are. It, it's, it feels really weird to ride it though because they have cuts, they have that like spine on the back, but then their their feathers are like the wings are really strong. That was it's cool. cool. Now oh, you've like, ridden an ostrich. Now I've ridden an ostrich. Thank you so much. That was fun. Yeah. That was so much fun. We're on the ostrich safari in a truck. In a truck. So we're gonna go around the farm that we just drove through on the other truck. <laughs> Only this time we're gonna get a tour. Right now we have two kinds of ostriches. The ones we see over here are the African ones. The black one is the male and the gray one is the female. On the other side, we see the emu. Those are the Australian ostriches. The emu are smaller. They have three toes on their foot. The ostriches are bigger, but if you look closely, only two toes on their feet. The emu lays a green egg and the ostriches a white egg. You can eat both. Mm -hmm. The white egg tastes like chicken egg and the green one more like a geese egg has a stronger taste. Many people ask me here, do ostriches put their head into the sand like you see in cartoons or movies? Well, they don't. They put their ear on the ground. They can hear what the vibrations, something is coming. What do they do? They run and that keeps them alive in the wild. But in Africa, when you see far away, what do you see? A heat wave. With their head listening with a heat wave, it seems like their head is into the ground. They don't, they're just listening. They don't have nothing to do, so they pick at the fence, they pick in the air. You see mostly, they pick one in the air, one in the, yeah, they keep doing it, they're just, just bored. <laughs> Do you think they're smart? Because they don't look like it really, but are they smart? I think they're not smart. No, uh... <laughs> Look at the fence. They yeah. can go under the fence out, between the fence out. Yeah. They just don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> they like <laughs> How is it? <laughs> scary to back up to an animal. <laughs> It's not the thickness of the shell that can take all the pressure, it's the shape. It's not round, not oval, precisely you can stand on it, yeah? It won't break. I think you said ostriches weigh 400 pounds, so, and they sit on 18 of them. So unless you weigh 400 pounds, you're not going to break it. This doesn't have a baby in it though, it has yolk, but it's, it's really, it's really heavy. Do you want, did you have it? Yeah. The guy said it. Yeah, it's heavy. So the tour guide said that about half of the eggs don't actually get fertilized, and those are the half that they send to the restaurant to eat. So they wait for them to. They said 14 days for them to get germinated and see if there's a baby inside. If there's no baby, they send them to the restaurant. The first thing I feel is the tortilla. It's a wrap. It's a um, wrap with ostrich meat. And the second one is uh, the omelette, it's uh, the egg of the ostrich, and um, the hamburger, ostrich yes, burger. That sounds, so good. That sounds uh, good. Yeah, that's really good. And they said it wasn't like white meat, like chicken, it's, no, it's like red meat? It's a red meat. Interesting. I was like suspecting like a chicken leg, like... No. Yeah, <laughs> huh, okay. Oh. Does it taste like ostrich? <laughs> it doesn't really taste that different from a normal burger. If someone told me that was beef, I'd probably believe them. And I have a uh, ostrich omelet. She said from one ostrich egg, they can make 10 omelets that big. Yeah. 
And that's like a big omelet, look at that. Tastes any different than a normal omelet? But it, for me, it doesn't really taste any different than if you make an omelet with chicken. Really? But it's really good. All right. Everything is really good here, except the drink. What, How's what? your ostrich, ostrich fantasy? That's the one that you picked? The one yeah, that has, oh, my that does nightmare. have everything in it. The whole thing about having the restaurant associated with the raising of the birds is that they're doing it so carefully. They're keeping track of the bloodline and they're, they're not inbreeding. They're being sure that the unfertilized eggs are being used in the menu. And they're being sure that they always keep 250 birds. And then the extra ones are the ones that are, are here. So it's not like, it's not like, factory I mean, first farming. of all, first of all, you have to, first of all, you have to want to eat meat. But second of all, they're being very responsible. I'm, I'm impressed with how well they're thinking it yeah. through and making it sustainable and making it something that keeps going. Yeah, yeah it's, they're not living in like terrible cages. It's not no. factory farming. They're not yeah. abusing the animals. I mean, yeah. I grew up eating chickens that we raised. It's really they're, no different. They said yeah. that all the leftover meat that they don't put into um, the burgers and the steaks, they eat to the crocodiles, which is kind of cool. They have two or three, two Nile crocodiles here. And the and little, them all leftovers. And the little um, potbelly pigs go around everything and else. do everything else just like in your aquarium. We couldn't go sailing on Uma because of all the work we were doing, but that doesn't mean we couldn't go sailing at all. We decided to rent a little centaur for the day and take Eleanor sailing for the first time. Ready? Yeah. Here's the painter. Yeah. Sounds good. Hey, have fun. Bye, thank Thanks. you. Perfect. I like sailing small boats. It's the best. This one's going to be fun. I have a rope. I there pulled on it. Oh, that's a good that's one. A good tag. <laughs> it's so, so it's easy. so easy compared to our boat. Look at you, Captain. so much for watching this episode i hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe like and share the love also a lot of you have been asking us if we have uma gear the answer is yes we finally have stickers that's right you can now purchase your own uma stickers available on our website and uh, you can stick it on a whole bunch of stuff in other news we have a special new reward for our patreon you finally get early access to all of our videos which means you get to see all of our videos one week in advance it's something that we've been trying to do for a long time and thanks to our patreon team and to a lot of hours of non-stop editing we're finally able to do this so if you're not a patreon and you want early access or some other rewards or just want to support our work you can do so by checking out our patreon page See the link in the description below. And don't forget to come back next week when we install our new Cape Horn wind vane. Until then, cheers! Bye.